In this video, we're going to show you how to access the e-consult option through the practice website. The practice website address is stonehavenmedicalgroup.scot.nhs.uk. Some of the steps in this video will be sped up, but the total process shouldn't take any longer than 10 minutes. On the website, you'll be able to scroll down and see Consult Our Doctors Online. If you click on Get Started, this takes you through to the eConsult platform. Once here, you can seek advice about a specific condition, general symptoms, or request administrative help. Once you select one of these options, you'll then be able to choose from a list of illnesses and if you know which illness specifically you want um, information or support for, you can click on this. There's also an option to choose by body map, so you can click on the area of the body that is affected. For this consultation, we're going to choose back pain. Once you click through to the next screen, you'll then be able to access four different options. The first three of these are different forms of self-help or advice from 111. The fourth option is wanting advice or treatment from your GP. If you click on here, this will then launch the online consultation. To be able to progress with this, you have to confirm that the problem you're discussing is not an immediate emergency, that you're doing the consultation for yourself, and we also allow relatives to complete this consultation on behalf of their family member if the family member is there to answer the questions with them. Once you've ticked these, you can then click start your consultation. It does require you to enter your details at this point. And unfortunately at the moment you have to enter these every time you go to submit a consultation. This is so that we can check your information and that you are indeed registered with the health centre. Once you've completed this information, you will then be asked to provide an up-to-date telephone number and also an email address. These will be checked again at the end of the consultation as these are the way that we will get back in touch with you once we have received it. Once you have entered all of the demographic information, click on the next step. The first part of the consultation asks you to give broad answers to what you would want to achieve from the consultation, how much the issue is bothering you, and whether you've tried anything for it previously or currently. In the interests of speed, I'm going to only enter very short answers to these. The last question here is for if you would like a specific GP to see your consultation. Once you move past these general questions, it then asks some disease-specific questions. So again, I'm going to rush through these in the interest of time. But I'm going to show you the red flag warning that you can get depending on which answers you put. So for example, here with the answer I provided, the e-consult is designed to recognise this might be a more serious symptom and therefore you should contact the practice to discuss this, or if it's out of hours, call 111. You can email the consultation so far to yourself. I'm going to cancel this just now so we can progress through the rest of the consultation. Once you've answered all the questions specifically relating to your complaint, you will then be able to progress on to answering questions about your wider health. So do you have any previous medical illnesses or conditions? Are you taking any medication? Questions like this. These again have to be answered every time you complete an online consultation. So again, I'm going to move through these relatively quickly and click on the next step. This now is the final stage of submitting your consultation where you have to confirm that you have provided the correct telephone number, that you've provided the correct email address, 
At this point, you may also ask for a copy of your consultation to be emailed to you and also to get a GP guide to back pain emailed also. Once you tick both of these, you can then click finish and the consultation will be submitted to the practice. As you can see, this is a relatively straightforward process. Um, the questions I did rush through a little bit, but for most people, this can be completed in between five and 10 minutes.